Wait, I have done this now, right? No. Yes. Okay. I think it's time to move on. Yo, I need to press A. <laughs> Wait, what? Why am I here? That's better. I mean, that's that's writer. I don't know if it's better because it's not really fun being here. Hey, Bjorn, if you still feel like you ain't got the hang of how your different body part combos work, you could try them out in this thing, but hurry! That's a good idea, Pesto. I just want to get to Viking Hell as soon as possible. And I'm tired of watching you flail around with no control <laughs> whatsoever while I freeze to death. Thanks. I keep trying to find someone to talk to, but it's an uphill battle. At best, I meet a lot of really boring people for really brief amounts of time. Yesterday, I had a conversation with a guy who died from forgetting to breathe. We talked for about 12 seconds before one of his strapping viking sons rescued him. Great, thanks for the chat, guy. Whee. Oh, man. Lingon berry. down here a little bit. What you look at that? This looks like the original gate to Helheim. It's missing a piece though. Hint hint, nudge nudge. Okay, so that is missing. Um the lady. That is right now held as a pad. Holy crap, exciting day today. Not one, but two people arrived in Helheim. And unlike all the others, no one seems to be coming to bust him out. One of them was Ejil Battle Bay. Strange little guy that kept going on and on about not belonging here, that he died in battle. Ha! Turns out he tripped and broke his neck before getting killed. He is really out of it. Won't speak to anyone. Chillax, Ejil Baby Bay. Wow. You get used to it. The second person that arrived here was this young lady called Erika Thundermuscles. She was actually alive and well and just came to save her brother Gunnar, who got trampled by a moose. Turns out, get this, getting trampled by a moose counts as dying in battle. Oh baby, your bros in Valhalla having boar and killing people. She was so embarrassed about the mistake that she died of embarrassment, literally. I asked her soul if she wanted to work out, but she told me to go to hell and run off into the woods. Looks on you, I'm already in hell, baby, and so are you. Oh, poor Erika. Poor Erika. Died of embarrassment. You know what? Let's bring everything down here. Wait, I can literally bring everything down here. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh, torso. Oh no. Uh... Oh, that just counts nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're teasing me. But holy crap. Oh man, this cave is too dark to explore. I guess that'll have to wait then. Until I get magical night vision powers. Riveram wasn't built in a day, you know. We originally hired trolls to build it and they had to set up these temporary shacks to live in while they built houses for the locals. Well, it turns out they liked their houses in the town so much that when they were done, they ended up moving in themselves, which is awesome! Now they have proper houses of their own. We use their old huts for puzzles. I'm so proud, it's all coming together perfectly. If you say so. jump on here from there that's a good question but it's probably unnecessary or is it or is it to leg leg I'm assuming I have to talk to these guys, right? Oh, there you are. You're that kid that can detach body parts. I heard Roger don't talk about you. My name is Abilo. Nice to meet you. Well, you are that kid, right? What do you think? Be nice, Pesto. Yes, I am that kid that can detach body parts. Oh, excellent. I 
I made these puzzles just for you. Check out the custom buttons. What the fuck? So that's interesting, I can go to the left somehow. Um, I need to get everything up there. Help me a lot, does it? Um, so basically, I need both arms. To transport stuff, right? Just genetic. Then I'll just make custom buttons for everybody. I can make a sneezing button for people that sneeze a lot. All I oh, that is done now. Vegan buttons. Permanently oh, activated. Good to know. Everyone around here had your work ethic. Okay. Oh, 
That works. I can't go back from here, it's the other way I need to go. Hmm. Wait, I need double hands. That's not solid. Well, in that case... The yeah, arm alone enough? Nope. Okay, that's an issue. No, it's actually not because I can do this. Nice. Not again. What? The door is frozen shut. That's great. Finally, we get to try out this awesome heater I invented. Look how many buttons he has. But mm -hmm. also, some levers. I like levers. All right. Turning this thing on is supposed to be a group effort. But with your condition, I think we can pull it off with just three people. I'm not a physical being. Oh, all right. Whatever. We can try to two-man it then. Come talk to me when you want to hear the instructions. I don't know. I kind of don't want to hear them. Well, that is where I can eventually get up, right? all sense of time. Have I been here 12 months? 12 years? 120 years? A thousand? Judging from my muscles, I must have been here for a while. Right now, working out is all I do. I guess I figure that if I work out my body, I'll, I'll, it'll work out my mind too. Then maybe it can figure out a way to make this place bearable. Yeah, that doesn't seem to, to, happening, to be happening. My mind doesn't even know where I am half the time. You gotta stand on that button there with your torso <clears throat> to turn on the power, okay? Once the power is on, I'll start yanking on these different genaminators here while you keep them going. Those two special lightenators show what you need to do to keep the genaminators running. But you don't have much time before the genaminators stop again. 
Okay, kitty. So keep doing whatever the lightenators say, and we shall be fine. If the denominators stop, I'll have to start yanking all over again. I mean, I like yanking, just not as much as doors and buttons. By the way, my tools are made of ice. I like ice, but that means they'll melt away as I'm yanking. When they melt, I will yell, tool! And you have to throw me a new tool for one of my tool buckets. I can't move on to the next denominator without a tool. So, you got to hurry, OK, kitty? Do you have any questions? Let me know if you want me to repeat everything in the exact same words and tone of voice. <laughs> so... I can't jump up there, right? Oh, I need to leave my torso there. Oh, that's annoying. So what's the best thing to do? I mean, I guess I'll do this. And this, right? To throw the tool. Yanking and yanking. I like it. My tool is melted. I'm yanking like a goddess. Keep going. Two, two, two. One yank here and one yank there. Oh. oh you messed it up. Listen, I'll just start yanking all over again. Oh, okay. Keep the oh. going. I'm almost done. Tell me, Tully yanking and yanking. Okay, this is annoying. This fuck. Keep going. Keep the denominators going. I'm almost done. Holy shit. Yanking and yanking. I like it. This is such bullshit. I feel like there should have been a better way to distribute these things. Tool! I'm yanking like a goddess! Keep going! Tool! 
Yeah, I feel I need a hand up there too. Take the generators going. I'm almost done. So, one yank here and one yank there. My tool is melted. Buy me a new one, kitty. That doesn't work. Nope. Oh, I could have caught it in flight. Oh. Holy shit, that was annoying. Just have to yank a little bit on this. Dang. That was so obviously going to happen. Is that goblin or troll? Right, which one is which? Oh, I never, never would have. I love fires, not just buttons and doors. Thank you for helping me discover my true passion, Kitty. Time to light some fire. Come. See ya. Another problem dealt with, with absolutely no negative repercussions, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's just pretend none of this happened. You coming, Pesto? Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Let me just soak up the heat a little bit. Oh yeah, of course you like heat. Assuming I don't want to step in those. Which means I can't jump this. Which means I have to throw stuff over first.
I've waited for Harold for what seems like forever. He has been gone for at least uh, five years. Mum says more like a hundred. No way. I don't know what's taking him so long to die and come here. There's no way he could have died and gone to Valhalla. I promise he wouldn't die in battle. But Mum says people accidentally die in battle all the time. Maybe that's what's happened. I'm gonna give it the longest time I can. Twelve more years and then I guess it's back to being crazy. Ho ho ho. Did I really just do that? The answer is yes. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Let's do the entire thing again, because it was so fun. I mean, it is, but... Having to do the entire thing again is still not, not, not a great experience. I'd rather not have to do everything again. Well, at least this configuration means I can just run the entire thing in one go. Moink. What did I even do here? how they are spaced out like this just to prevent you from doing it without actually being able to see it like I did to that first invisible grapple thing that I encountered when I didn't know it was even a thing Whee! raspberry there isn't anything else here right no. Why game? Why? That respawning all the way back at the start of this section is really frustrating, honestly. Oh, well it did this. I can't take it anymore. Every day is exactly the same. Wake up, walk around, work out, try to make friends with some Vikings, watch them get rescued, sit in my hut and stare at the wall, do push-ups. I have no idea what day or even what year it is. My skin is turning purple and my eye keeps twitching. My mind is getting fuzzy. Can't remember how long I've been here now. Hell says it's, it hasn't been that long, but it feels like forever. Oh, man. Did I really just do that? I need a quick save thing. Just to save myself from my own stupidity sometimes. Imagine accidentally throwing a body part into the fire there.
So... That works. Five of eight bushes. Oh, it continues to the right. I was like, that can't be true. One more chest. Down was into here, right? Yep. So... That leads here. Did you hey. know that we got jumped by a bear, Bjorn? Yeah, they can <laughs> 40 kilometers per hour. Bjorn, who are these two? They're Hugen and Munin. What are you two doing down here? Did Odin send you? Oh, we don't work for Odin anymore. Hey, did you know that the idiot thinks Staten stole you, Bjorn? Yeah, he <laughs> went to hell to battle him. Who went to hell and did what now? Bjorn, who the home is Odin? Oh, he's just a harmless little god in charge of Val- uh, uh, a Wallhaller. Nothing to worry about. We're fine. Fine? He's a psychopath. What the hell, Huggin? Shh. Did you know that he made me eat all my feathers once? Just because I team killed him by accident. <laughs> oh, yes. He's probably destroying hell as we speak. Killing anybody <clears throat> that stands in his way. Or at least seriously injuring them. Ugh. Right, that's it! This adventure is cancelled! You're going back to Wallholler, Bjorn, and I'm going back to hell! Now stand still so I can kill you! Wait, Pesto, we've come so far. I don't care, Bjorn! We both have to go back to where we belong! No! Belong. Gosh darn it, Bjorn. Don't make me get ugly. I'm not going back after all we've been through, Pesto. First you throw me in with goblins, bears, and frogs. Then your psycho god starts wrecking my home, and now you're making me do this! Die, Bjorn! Stay dead, Bjorn! Pesto, calm down. I have to save hell! I How are you gonna save hell, Pesto? Let the gods deal with stuff among themselves. Satan doesn't even have a gosh darn weapon! And guess who he's gonna blame for that? Then let's go get him his weapon. Stop making sense, Bjorn, and stand still. Die, Bjorn. What? How? Stop coming back. Pesto, seriously, stop it. Hell can tell Satan this whole thing was a misunderstanding. She'll say it was my fault for resurrecting you. It's like you said, the road to Helheim is a mess. They couldn't have expected you to get there on your own. Yeah! You die! I ain't got time for this! You really want to go back to hell empty? I don't think I can actually avoid most of this. Gosh darn it! How many lives do you have? Take this, Bjorn! Yeah. I wasn't meant to avoid that, I think. You can't kill me, Pesto. Gosh darn it. Why in the gosh darn home did you become immortal? You're not supposed to be. I can't just leave you here. If I lose track of you, I'll never hear the end of it. I have to hand you over to a local god before I can leave. One that isn't a psychopath like the bird said. Gosh darn it. Fine. Fine! Come on. Heilheim ain't gonna come to us. Hey, did you know we've been hanging here for like an hour? If you help us down, we'll help you out with some of the puzzles up ahead. Do it. We might get to Viking Hell faster with more help. You got it, Pesto. You got it, Pesto. Look at me. My name is Bjorn. I'm immortal. I love to ruin Pesto's life. And my name is Took time. Hmm. 
Hmm, looked like I could go up here, but apparently not. Thank you, Bjorn. And scary skeleton. Yours. Spooky scary skeleton. We'll try to help you out whenever we can. Hey, did you know that a group of bears is called a sloth? Oh, sure, I learned that on Viking Google. Viking Google. Okay. What does this stupid gate say then? Hope you packed a jacket. Gosh darn it! Can I try to kill you again? Just once? Come on! Achievement unlocked. To hell with the river rum. Hello, friends and foes! Welcome to part two of our fetch quest! We need to go all the way down to hell! And now we'll fight the boss and claim our prize! I have to admit, <laughs> I don't know where to go. Is it, uh, this way? Why is this level so poorly designed? Goat! Come out, goat! I know you're stealing my souls! I want them back, you jerk! I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... <laughs> here. So, I guess we're going that way. <laughs> <laughs> Come out, goat, or else I'll raise this place to the ground with you in it! Where's my soul, goat? I know you have it! What the feces is going on? It's One-Eye. He's blowing up things and rambling about you being a soul thief. What? Isn't that the lady with the limbo game? Why would he think I'd want more of the things? Didn't you send Pesto to Helheim today? Maybe she messed something up. Pesto is one of my best. She would never. Sending your people to my domain to steal my souls, huh? You can't even do your own dirty work, goat. Okay. War. Can you go to hell? Huh? Oh, pesto like in pestilence. Also, bring me my gosh darn sword. My gosh darn sword. I need a sword. Dude, there's no way I'm going there today. I spent all morning whacking gangsters. I'm off the clock for the rest of the day. Well, it's not like I can go. I'm Satan. I can't just leave hell. I mean, Odin left Valhalla. Uh, I'll do it. Lord. Ugh. Gosh darn it. Famine. Hi, Famine. I shall travel to the land of the pagans to confront pestilence and recover your artifact. My liege, have faith in me. Okay, fine. Sheesh. Just pestilence, go. war, famine, and. You, my lord. I exist. Crap, I forgot who the fourth is. To serve. Death? Gosh darn it! He's so cringy. I think he's cute. Boo, bad shot! You are kidding me! You are kidding me! Okay, I'll admit it, it's getting kind of nippy now. Nippy? Nippy? That's not even a real word! Loudberry. I'm missing two berry bushes. Oh, well, that's not good. Especially because I have absolutely zero idea where they could be. Like, less than zero. Maybe up here?
Maybe not. Whatever. I am gonna fire people. Oh, what's this? You folks, customers. Well, how do you like this place? It's paradise, isn't it? <laughs> Great. Another goblin. Name's Mike Cobble, CEO of Goblin Cobble. Listen, if you ever need something cobbled in your version of the afterlife, you can tell me. Here's my car to take it over and give me a call. Yeah, we hired your company to fix a ferry in hell once. No one ever showed up. Oh, yeah. Guy in charge of that project got decapitated. <laughs> Sorry, we forgot to give you a heads up. <laughs> Pun intended. Wait, why are you following me around? I can't jump properly on this snow pesto. Your heart. I got an idea. You ain't gonna like this one either. All right, let's hear it. You ever build an ash man? You roll up a ball of ash on the ground, and it gets bigger. We do it for hell Christmas. Guess you could do that with snow too. Detach your head and roll it around. Whoa, that's cold. Good thing you Vikings love the cold, huh? That is a ridiculous mechanic. What the goblin hell is this? Why are they standing still? You're all fired, you slackers! I <laughs> what? That's breach of contract! You'll be hearing from me, liars! These puzzles don't look industry standard at all. Hmm. Carrot Top, see if you can solve this garbage. Maybe we can get away with this. I see a berry bush. Oh god. More cloud berries. Oops, the dumb question. Can I throw a torso up there? No, apparently not.
Hmm. But it said I can lift more. Puzzler's weird, but I need to really go to the loo, so I'm just going to um, have a quick break here and ponder it while sitting on the loo, I guess. <laughs> 